Bold move. Pro League Finals. Yes, this is the biggest event of the year, and I'm joined with Ranch and DA today. We're going to try to get another commentator for tomorrow's round, but uh, for round one, me and Ranch are going to commentate the hell out of Huacian Oz versus SK Telecom 1. Who do you think is going to win today, Ranch? I am saying Telecom all the way. All the way. You think it's going to be a straight 4-0 victory? Looking at the first day, I don't think necessarily it's going to be a 4-0, but I highly doubt it's going to go to the closer match, looking at the way everything's set up. Yeah, I might as well list all the matches and talk a little bit about the uh, setup here. Basically, this is a two-round format. We're going to play a round tonight and a round tomorrow night, and that means that uh, th basically... Well, okay, let me lay it out here. If SK Telecom 1 wins today, and uh, they can win tomorrow and they'll win the whole series, but if Oz wins tomorrow after SK Telecom wins today, uh, there will be a super ace match to determine the entire series, which is just epic beyond belief. But here are today's matchups. This is Fantasy vs. Jadong on Outsider, Kanata vs. Lomo on Shades of Twilight, Hyuk vs. Gamo. Uh, on Neo Medusa, Best versus Bako on Colosseum 2, and if we get past that point, those are the f uh, the first four games. This is a best of seven format, so the first team to get to four wins will take the series. But if uh, the teams are more tied up at that point, we're going to move on to the Zerg versus Killer on God's Garden, and uh, Bisu versus Haya on Heartbreak Ridge, and then the closer, the ace match, will be on Neo Harmony. Personally, I think Oz is going to take this series because I think it's going to happen a lot like it happened against uh, CJ Entis. The one-two punch. They're going to focus on one day, whether it's today or tomorrow. I'm not sure what day it's going to be, but I think they're going to focus on one day uh, with some strategies, maybe some cheese, so they can set it up for a Jadong Ace Super Ace match. It doesn't matter if they don't take uh, the second day or the first get day. If they take one of the days, they'll be able to force a uh, super ace match if uh, SK Telecom 1 does take uh, one of the other days. And that basically gives them an 80% chance of winning, I think, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to disagree with you there. Honestly, um, if this goes to a super ace match, then Jadong and Hwasong Oz definitely have a chance. But the way I'm looking at this right here, I think that's not going to happen. Day one, I have this feeling that SK is definitely going to take this. Um, even if Fantasy loses to Jadong, which I honestly don't think he will, then I think Kanata, Best, Bisu, and either Hyuk or the Zerg even will probably all take a game and take a win here. Um, looking at every, just the way everything is set up. Favorable matchups pretty much all around, and I gotta say, maybe Bisu's facing off against a turn, but I definitely still think he's gonna be able to take Haya out. I don't think it's gonna come even down to the closer, and day two is gonna be a little bit more favorable to Oz, more chances to take more games. Jadong is facing Hyuk, that's gonna be easy peasy, and some guys can cheese against some guys. Bako can probably snipe Kanata, and other matchups around there but I still think that the first day will definitely be a telecom win and should Oz should Oz actually take it to the super ace match which I'm still saying they're gonna have a hard time doing then telecom still has both Bisu and fantasy which have shown in the past that they can take Jadong out they are definitely capable of such much more capable than CJ had uh, as an ace player to take out a player of Jadong's magnitude Yes, I love the fact that we're on opposite sides here because there's going to be a lot of trash talk in the commentaries, and I'm definitely looking forward to that. But I actually agree with you on the Fantasy versus Jadong thing. It's kind of weird that they threw out Jadong for the first match because I don't think Jadong's strength, at least these days, is the first match of a set, of any set, of any series, because I think that um, Jadong definitely needs... He needs a lot of pressure on him, and of course, finals are a pressuring situation. But I think he needs to be—he needs to feel the heat to win. And I think that uh, the ball is more in uh, Fantasy's court there, as far as that goes. Even though it is a Zerg favored map, at least I think so. A lot of people have been arguing about Outsider and uh, 
which race it favors. But yes, I think, um, personally, I think the score will be, let's see, I don't think Jadong's going to win. I think Fantasy will beat Jadong, but I think the other three guys, Lomo, Gamo, and Bako, will come up with some epic cheese um, to uh, move up there, and then hopefully Killer can beat the Zerg, but that's, that's kind of a hard game to call anyway. But yes, uh, I am predicting 4-1 for Oz today. I am going to go ahead. Let's see, look in the matchups. I don't really know what exactly to predict. I don't think it's going to go to the closer. Let's see, Fantasy is going to take down Jainong. Tick, 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 tick. I'm actually going to go ahead and predict a 4-0. I don't think it's likely. I honestly think it's not going to turn out that way. But I'm going to go ahead and predict a 4-0. If Hyuk and Kanata manage to win. Kanata's been hot lately and Hyuk can sometimes pull amazing non-fail out of his ass. So <laughs> he might actually take down a game. But it's either going to be a 4-0 or a 4-2 in my opinion. And I'm going to go ahead and say 4-0 to T1. Oh, snap. Well, now I'm excited. We have to start moving on to Fantasy versus Jadong.